Hey guys, Kelvin from the Couching Company in New Zealand. What we're going to talk about is 3UZ wiring looms. Specifically, 3UZ wiring looms into Hiluxes. But of course this applies to lots and lots of swaps. And one big thing that catches a lot of people out, even though they're looking at it, they sometimes don't comprehend and, and quite understand, but the wiring loom for a 3UZ factory is in the left hand front of the vehicle. Here's one I prepared earlier. So the wiring loom's down the side. And we know that this one we can see here by the throttle body that it is a six speed wiring loom we're working with. So this throttle body is for a five speed. Two pin uh, throttle motor and then a separate TPS. Six speeds are all one, all con combined in one plug. So the loom's down there, across the back, forward, and here are our ECU plugs. Goes through your ECU. This follows a joiner. So often they don't come with that, and so they'll just have the plug that plugs in. Oh, that one's not too bad because that one is a joiner and it's both sides. And then you've got this fella here is another one of those ones where it's, it's uh, browns and black whites. They're earths. So what I do when I do the wiring looms, if I don't have that, is I join all the earths like that. So we've got this one here. Just get our earths in it. It goes off into the body wiring. This is our main power feeds, coils and injectors, starter. And again, it goes off into the body wiring. This one's a little loopy joint thing, which is actually in the body wiring. And there's another one. And this one's got, um, I think it's got the some of the gear shifter stuff in that one. And this one is a joiner, which is actually in the loom, stays in the loom. It's got the feedback for the coils, some earths. Um, not actually sure what else is in that one. So this is LS430, but it's mounted, the ECU is mounted in the engine bay. So if you were trying to mount it in here, you end up with an ECU trying to be mounted in here. And it's not going to fit nicely. It just, it simply doesn't work. Even stretching it back into here isn't ideal. It's not quite long enough. The box is all funny. It's just not going to work. So as you can see here, what I've done is I've revamped the loom to put the loom in the cabin. And I've done the same thing with this loom. In this loom, we've got uh, a big power feed here that can be connected to the battery. And this white wire can be used to, is, is for the sense, for the alternator. And it's actually, um, it comes out of a plug that's right here in the, in the Hilux. This blue one, Pops out of the loom here. If you want to mount a, a temperature, temperature switch for the fan, we put them in right there. Oh, here's one I prepared earlier. Right there. It's a bit dark, but that's where it is. If the fan switch isn't used, then the factory a fan ECU can be used. And of course there's, there's wires in the loom to do it, you just have to add them into the ECU and run them out, job done, it's, it's really simple. But unfortunately over here we often don't get the fan ECUs. So I give both options, you can use the fan ECU or you can put in a fan switch. There's a bit more stuffing around for the aircon if you want to use the fan switch, but it still can be done. For the alternator wiring, this particular loom had a four, four pin computer controlled alternator on it. I've done a video on alternators, so that goes and we put a three pin alternator on it off the 2000 to 2003 LS430 or Celsius. Or the early ones, you can put a, a non VVTi, like a UCF20 alternator on just fine. Those Hiluxes have about a 100 amp alternator fuse, so it's not silly putting the smaller 
rated alternator onto it. It's going to go on the side like normal, across here, we've got earth there and there. This file is for the breather, for the charcoal canister, that, sh that should be put on. In New Zealand, charcoal canister is required for certification purposes to get that vehicle legal. So that's why I wire it in, or leave it in there, don't take it out. Oh, alternator, and the other side we've got the air conditioning. So the 3Z pump, especially this, this loom here, this particular loom is off a, a Crown or a GS430. Their air conditioning pumps totally suck against uh, when you're going into a Hilux. They just don't work. Uh, so we swap back to an early one. So I've got a single pin there. And then I've got a couple of extra wires just in case we need to do some other stuff with, uh, if you get one with the pressure solenoid, which is like, you like this one. Not ideal, I prefer to use the early pumps. Right in this area, and this man asked for a uh, standalone loom. You can see it now comes through, through the firewall, just like that one. Comes down, there's this big multi-plug here. There's a pin in it, but this is the main stuff we need. We've got some spears, and the spears, some of them come over here. So you can do some different stuff with the loom. Through the loom comes these, the power feed, and it plugs directly into the relays and fuses. And the ECU can be mounted in the cabin. Six speeder. Got the scan to attach, so I've been checking that. And this actually happens to be a Hilux accelerator pedal. The Hilux accelerator pedal works perfectly with the 3UZ ECU. So that ECU has been reflashed. Uh, there was actually a little bit of water damage in it. It's not too bad, just a little bit. Uh, it's been reflashed. We're still going to run the six-speed auto on it. So it needs to have the right shifter behind it because the six-speeds run a different shifter. Uh, it's had throttle response, the immobilizer removed, the normal tuning done for a conversion. On both the engine and the transmission. The fellow there is for the fuel pump resistor. Should we talk about the fuel pump resistor? This one happened to be a V6, and there's our fuel pump resistor. We use the factory fuel pump resistor, and that drops the speed of the fuel pump when you are um, cruising. Uh, fuel pump wiring. It's a little bit dark, but just down there, there's the clutch pedal. Well, we're not having a clutch. There's the accelerator pedal, there's the brake pedal, we're up in there, there's the wiring for the fuel pump. And this is the shifter that needs to go with that six speed transmission, so that's really important. This one had issues with, uh, one was cable, uh, cable driven, or cable uh, shift, and it would overextend the, the box and put the box in the wrong gear selector position on the detents. Shush. Make sure we have the right airflow meter. And in this one, all, all the hard work's been done over here. Uh, there's the wiring for the uh, for that shifter, for the gear change, the up and downy, because it's got the uh, Tiptronic. So that's the wiring for that. This stuff just plugs in, scan tool plugs in and reads. And over here, we've got some wires that, that need to be attached. Little sheet of paper, check light. We've got a tach tachometer. Now, oh, tacho over here also. So I've got a tacho popping out here, and I've got a speed output popping out here, and a 12 volt and an earth. And they, and they are for um, a decoder digital box that can be plugged in. Under here, this isn't actually all taped up too much. You can still undo it and run wires through and move wires around the loom. Uh, but I've also done a little tricky thing. Um, the temp gauge on these, on these, on those Hiluxes, the temp gauge requires the factory ECU. So in this wiring loom, there is actually under here. No, 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 no. I'm telling you, it's here. There it is. These, these two, Hilux 
and Hilux. They plug into the factory ECU. So the factory Hilux ECU uh, multiplex, well it's kind of like a multiplex, it's like a, its own sort of signal on the temp gauge and it goes through the factory ECU. So what gets happening is you mount a extra temperature sensor. Uh, there's one in the box with this loom and in the factory spot where they are down, down here you drill and tap it and put the new temp sensor in, plug that fella in and the temp gauge works. And in this case the taco will work as well. The, the diesel four cylinders have the same output as the V8s anyway, same crank triggers. So I do some wiring, so you just plug the factory ECU back in, or a factory ECU. If you don't have one, just align it, plug it in and align it to the vehicle. Um, and voila, the temp gauge works like it should, because lots of guys can't get that going on these. And the uh, Taco will work. The Speedo still needs a Dakota digital box. And if the Taco doesn't work with the factory ECU, the Dakota Digital, the newer ones, they do Taco and Speedo, you can use one of those. It's a single wire anyway out of the Taco um, and you just tap into the wiring from the Hilux. Again, I have allowed for as many possibilities as possible. That plugs in, extra wiring. Um, we've got to have the brake lights, which is actually two of them. There's a uh, positive and a negative brake light switch or a naturally open, naturally closed. There's an ignition in the red wire and a start input. There's a reverse wire. There's an alternator light. There's an alternator light, yep. And there's something else. Oh, and an earth. Right, with all that done, doo -doo -doo, we're pretty good there, we're pretty good, uh, we make it go. I need earmuffs. Red wire powers it up. Fuel pump connected on the relays. And start up input. <laughs> So that makes me really happy. It's a runner, it's doing what it should. Uh, it's a little bit flat in the test workshop because the gear inputs aren't in it with the transmission. And that's fairly normal, but of course when it's in the vehicle it's got the transmission and it gets the gear inputs. And so that's really important as well. Doing them like this, and I do a lot of vehicles, a lot of 3UZs where I reroute the loom like this to fit in the more conventional jobs, and it works really well. Connectors all get changed, and they, they get changed, like this one. Uh, not all the connectors were broken, externally. When you go pop them apart inside, they just shatter the guts of them, especially the cam angle sensor plugs, which we're going to show you on another vehicle that's coming up, a factory vehicle that's got lots of broken plugs on it, and this is what happens, and the 3UZs are going the same way. So I'm changing the plugs and refabbing the looms to keep them going for a long, long time and it gives them more serviceability. This one's all done, I'm gonna pop the loom off, get it in a box, get it out of here. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Hope that's been helpful, talk to you soon.